Oh, this is so good. Right, so here is, if no one's met Neighbour Chris before, Neighbour Chris. Neighbour Chris. Not only have we been building pump track lately, Chris has also had a bit of a part-time project that he's been building throughout lockdown. Would you like to show everyone your uh, homemade e-bike? Okay, so started with a Specialized Demo 8 2011. Very nice. Um, what, just off the internet? Just off the internet, yeah. I thought, well, um, I didn't want the old school, like, I was going to go for the old school big hit, um, but then I thought, no, I'll go up up a 10 years or so. <laughs> <laughs> Bring yourself into the future, yeah, yeah with then, a 26 um, inch Demo 8. Yeah, 26 inch Demo 8 medium frame. And then, um, yeah, made it electric. Pretty sick. Um, so, um, well, walk is, us around, is, I this guess. Is, this is version two. Yeah. Because um, I've already blown up one of these. I've already smashed up this um, <laughs> through finding out that this arm touches here and it just uh, went mental. Yeah, it's basically you bought a homemade e bike conversion kit yep. from China, right? So, yeah. So, we, I've got the biggest <laughs> so, one I could find, which was the old Sun Ring Ringle MTX. Nice. So, this um, is the motor down in here. The motor's in here. Um, it, we've had to do a few bits, uh, Dean mainly cutting all this up, thank yes. you Dean. Actually um, I have already looked to see if I can try and make um, my Polygon downhill bike into one, but unfortunately because you have to cut the back apart, it's carbon on the uh, DH9, so you need to find an aluminium frame which Chris has grinded up yeah. to make this wheel fit in. So we've had to cut the frame which was a scary moment because you never, never want to do that over on a grand bike. Especially when you just buy <laughs> straight off the internet yeah. and then take the angle grinds to straight, straight away. To it, yeah, um, but thank you Dean, well done mate, thank you. Um, and uh, yeah, so basically then uh, messed, it, messed around with all the wiring, you got a little accelerator here. Yeah, so does it, it is not like a normal e-bike. No. You don't pedal to help you, do you? It does have a it, throttle, it does or does it pedal, do both? It's a pedal assist, so pedal assist on the other side. Oh, so you've hooked um, it up both, it yeah, came with it. so you can literally pedal and then it will um, just accelerate you like a normal e-bike, but then you've just got the extra power that puts you up to about 40 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> have you tested it yet? Or what um, about version not, one? Not on, version one was great, had brilliant fun on it, but it only lasted for two days before I destroyed it. What happened? Um, I wrapped all this up, I did everything wrong, it smashed all this under here with the swing arm, um, and then uh, yeah, it all went very much downhill from there. <laughs> that's, um, kind of, that's the research and development so you just need the, with, the, the, with these homemade e-bikes, isn't it? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, it's the only way you're going to do it really, especially with them. Um, like not the best parts. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's kind of like the pump track that you just have to DIY it you and make it from parts you exactly find. That. And I'm sure everyone is wondering where the battery is. Battery is in a backpack. <laughs> yes. Um, I think I should be able to get, if I pedaled right and didn't just accelerate everywhere, I think I could get a hundred miles out of this. Yeah, well, I must say that that battery is massive. It's like twice as big as any like legal e-bike that I've ever seen be yeah, made. don't know how legal this is. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what else you got to do before it's ready to go? Um, basically just tidy all this up. Um, so here we go, let's, let's give it a first test. Quickly. There's a bit of a snake's wedding going on down here. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 it's um, a real art. <laughs> like you said, work in progress. Well, there's a spark a few at least. sparks, here we go. Let's turn it on, moment of truth, it's alive. Yeah, you got a little dashboard. Speedo, battery reading. Speedo. And then uh, we've, uh, here we go. <laughs> yes. It's going 45, 45, there you go. So technically it'll go 45 miles an hour. Not with me on If it. you don't weigh anything. <laughs> well, I think we need to go give it a test in a bit, hey? I think that's definite. Let's tidy them wires up and get out. <laughs> it's a real tidy job. <laughs> as if it was planned. Yeah, I mean, I feel like the, the design and development process might be ongoing, so you don't really want to no. stick it in there so it's never coming out again. No, exactly that. <laughs> you off for you? I'm off. First test. <laughs> Look like a space ranger. Wouldn't usually wear a full face, but I watched my mate get his uh, teeth knocked out. <laughs> Not very good. <laughs> Plug her in between the legs. Love that the battery's in the bag. Right, go on then. Test one. Right. Version two. 
<laughs> He's off. How is it then? Really good. <laughs> Back to uh, former glory. I feel like a child. <laughs> <laughs> Sick. Let's um, let's go to the park then, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> I'll get my bike out. Mine's charging up right now. So here's my e-bike on charge right now. The Polygon Entiat E, I believe it's called. So it's a fat bike hardtail. You may have seen it on the pump track. Um, and it's pretty sick for blasting around town. Much more sort of factory built, this one. Much less homemade. Um, I don't know if that's better or worse. Yeah, and I guess this one's maybe a bit more legal than Chris's and probably a bit slower. <laughs> but let's go find out. <laughs> okay, go. Okay. Oh no, I've hit the uh, 25 top speed and he's just, just pedaling off. Hmm. That's definitely one point to the homemade special so far. I think um, e-bikes are kind of limited to 25 by law, obviously. Chris's is not. <laughs> So fast. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> right. What's best through the legs, you reckon? So yeah, go there and then put that through <laughs> the back of the leg, that's it. Right, let's see what she's got. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> It's actually not really a one-handed kind of bike, is it? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's so fast! <laughs> I'm going to try some wheelies. <laughs> I think you made something pretty good here, boy. <laughs> you are saying again. <laughs> I'm really quite jealous actually of this. Gonna have to build my own one. It's got to be done mate. Has to be done. Just the, like the sat down wheelies. I was trying to look at the speedo. I think it's like 35 and that you can get full speed yeah. in a tuck. If you go into uh, a pedal assist five oh, and yeah. pedal at the same time on a road you can get it. True. Like, yeah, apparently. What, what do you reckon top speed? Uh, I re well uh, Lewis my, one of my friends has got 45 out of his. <laughs> I think that's, that was 35 and that was more than and fast enough. D Dean's got a similar as well, I think. Love that you've got a crew already. <laughs> I need to join, don't I? <laughs> <You bet. laughs> oh no, <laughs> he's gone. That <laughs> oh, looks so funny. <laughs> See if you can get some air out of the bank here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that proves all the power, doesn't it? That actually looked well good. So as with any fantastic new product, we just need to iron out a few kinks mainly that this bashes onto there. So we just need to uh, probably put the seat up a little bit, hey? Uh, and then just re-cable tie it a little bit. Yeah, I think so. To get a little more travel out of it and start doing some uh, some jumps and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Much better clearance now. 
Just back need, to the park. Need to uh, cut the zip ties first though, because... Then we need a jump. <laughs> then we need a jump. <laughs> <laughs> up here, straight up off this bank, it'll like compress, then just like bunny hop and lean forward, so it'll probably wheelie you off the back if you take off wide open, or just lift off the throttle. See what happens. <laughs> but everyone wants to see some air, basically. Huge run up from the other side of the football pitch. I'm very excited. Oh, <laughs> pedalling too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes. I think the front wheel was like, I don't know, 20 centimetres. The back was probably only a couple. If you leant forwards more though, the back would come up. For I'm, sure. I'm a bit scared. Sick. <laughs> and, I, and I slowed down as well. Did you? Yeah. Right, get back out there, <laughs> hold it wide. Yeah, just lean forward, now you know what it's going to do. <laughs> there you go. Yes! Definitely, definitely airtime that time. Definitely. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> Let's check the slow mo. Let's have a go then. Didn't bottom out, did it? So I reckon. No, it's worked. So actually, the little upgrades have worked. Let's see how big we can go. Yeah. I don't know whether to take them sat down or stood up. Try both. <laughs> That's what I'll get. That needs to be done again and I need to stand here Maybe and get like a better shot. Maybe all the way shot. back to there, eh? I can get a better shot from here. Get it like, when you pull up, it like gets more power and like wheelies you it off the back. It wants to throw you up. Yeah, it wants to kick you <laughs> off the back. <laughs> I think I've spotted quite a cool uh, double. So there's like four tables here. I reckon you can jump from this one to that end one pretty easily. <laughs> the fat Eve is going to have to send the gap. <laughs> Such a funny big bike to do that stuff on. <laughs> I quite like it. Weirdly love the fat tyres as well. <laughs> Look, look adventure. Yeah, sweet. Yeah! <laughs> so here is the pit bike track in the woods, complete with quite sick turns and <laughs> the best thing, which is this over under tabletop. It's like a full supercross track. Table, and then you go around and underneath, but there's a big puddle right now which I think was always going to happen. They need some drainage like our pump track, don't they? Go on, boy. <laughs> oh, hey! Sick! <laughs> yeah! I have to say, for something he's built himself during lockdown, that is sick. Come on, then. I'm going to get a run up that table. Yeah. Oh, around the bottom turn, quick crank to help it up the hill. <laughs> yes! Run up for the big saves. <laughs> oh, this is so good! I swear it's like as fast as a pit bike around here. Maybe even faster actually if you got good at it. It's just like everywhere is downhill. Oh, <laughs> oh that's too good man. Right, go on then, let me try chase you round. Definitely gonna need boost for this one. Go on then, boy. <laughs> oh, look at it go. Proper downhill section. Ah. Oh, 
Oh, I'm knackered. That's a full lap. Oh, that's quality. I could keep up, but not for much longer. <laughs> this thing's epic as well, actually. Yeah. Never thought of right. just pedal e-biking around a uh, motor track. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> Need to get it de-restricted. So how much? How much are you in in the kit? Um, separate from the bike. Okay, through the mistakes. Trial and error. Uh, probably. I think it was about 1100 quid for the bike. Um, probably just under a grand for the rest of the kit. For the whole kit, and I guess the battery, the battery is most of that, is. isn't it? Yeah. Not bad. But we're still on full battery now, and we've been on it all day. Sick. <laughs> it's pretty damn good, isn't it? But you've got to pedal with it as well to make the battery last longer. Yeah, totally. Well, that's it. There you go. If anyone wants one, write to Chris. I'm sure I'll build you one. Send your bikes to Nature that. Chris, aka. <laughs> E-bike, Chris. <laughs>